Here's a very bad idea that's hurting the economy. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. A story in a prestigious newspaper last week encapsulated a pernicious idea that has done immense harm to the economy in the past and is about to do so again. The article began, quote, the economy can only go so fast without overheating. A big problem now is that nobody is sure just how fast that is, end quote. The piece posits that perhaps efficiencies developed during the pandemic might, quote, deliver lasting productivity boosts. Any increase in potential growth would count as welcome news to the Federal Reserve, since it wouldn't have to try to slow down the economy quite so much as it would if potential growth is still low, end quote. The whole notion that the Fed should try to manage how the economy performs is dangerous nonsense. Our central bank believes there are limits as to how fast our economy can expand without generating inflation. To them, the economy is like an engine that can overheat or conversely, go too slow. Ponder that for a moment. If you are earning more, do you start to sweat? Do you feel you are overheating? In the real world, an economy is human beings literally making billions of buy and sell decisions each day. People deciding whether to save, to invest, or to consume. What in the world makes economists, central bankers, and government policymakers think they know what a vibrant marketplace is capable of achieving, especially when it comes to discovery and developing innovations that lead to enormous improvements in the standard of living? An economy not overly burdened with rules and taxes is always finding ways to boost productivity. The marketplace normally has ups and downs as people's preferences change, or an industry, especially a new one, overexpands and experiences a shakeout. For instance, when the automobile was emerging well over a century ago, literally hundreds of companies were created, only a handful succeeded. News flashed to the Fed, prosperity does not cause inflation, creating too much money, which undermines the value of the dollar, is the cause of inflation. Even before the pandemic, the Fed was excessively printing money. Last year and into this one, our central bank recklessly increased its base money supply by buying nearly $2 trillion of bonds with money created out of thin air. The inflation situation today would have been far worse if not for an unprecedented gimmick whereby the Fed borrowed back this money short term. But this overhang, unless sharply reduced by the Fed, will seep into the economy, causing more mischief in the future. We need a debate now about the Fed's behavior. Its overwhelming focus should be maintaining a stable value for the dollar. That could be done with the gold standard, which we had from the 1790s to the early 1970s, or an informal gold standard, which we had from the late 1980s until the late 1990s. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again.